Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. And welcome to another episode of Introduction to Calligraphy. Hi, welcome. I hope that you're all having a great day wherever you are in the world. <clears throat> Let's do some housekeeping really quick and send out this invitation to all of the peeps to see if they want to come and hang out for a little bit. Got a new subscriber. Super excited. Thank you so much, Tony, for subscribing to my channel. I do hope that it will bring a great amount of fun and education. It's the bloody thing, you stupid thing. <laughs> Okay, just going to hang out for a minute, see if anybody wants to come and say hello. <clears throat> All right, it's been about two minutes. Let's take a look, see, at the daily... Today's J January reminders are YouTube lives are at 1 p.m. Pacific, Saturday is a Blue Joe setup video, and Friday is a currently inked. Today's currently inked is the Pilot Parallel with a 1.5 millimeter stub. And today's ink of the day is Nemosyne Blue Snowball Nebula Twinkle. to that in a minute and I gotta say that I am not a fan of the Nemesine Blue Snowball Nebula Twinkle in the 1.5 millimeter stub I think it's too broad it might go good better in a broad nib but in the 1.5 it just looks like a dusty gray which is fine but you know. Okay, let's do the habit tracker for the day. <clears throat> the thing about this ink is you gotta kinda give it a shake, 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 shake Sonora. Yesterday was the 11th. I ate lunch. I watched all the subscriptions, the Yahoo, the Gmail, the YouTube, check the snail mail. I got a letter from a man named Richard Myers. So that's really exciting. Hello, Richard, if you're watching. Dinner, cartoons, shower. Pills, coffee, tea, YouTube, bed. Um, was there a Zoom yesterday? No, I don't think it was a Zoom yesterday. There was a Zoom today, though, in about two hours. So, that'll be very exciting. Uh, I went shopping yesterday. I went... I watched uh, some Netflix and watched a little bit of TikTok and I did not check my blood pressure yesterday. But I am going to check my blood pressure today. Hiya Gary, how are ya? Are you having a nice day?
137 over 87. Wow. 112, 21, 37 over 87, 52, cool. Oops. All right, check my blood pressure. I got up this morning and I had coffee and watched Kathy and uh, I had, didn't have any breakfast yet. Uh, check the calendar. All right, let's do the daily things, shall we? Okay, so. All right, <clears throat> a lot going on today. Today is What's Up with Catherine at 4 p.m. And also we have a Zoom today, I think. Yes, we have a Zoom today at 4 p.m. So I need to put that on there. Zoom with Larry. Okay. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. Today's weather is 73 degrees and partly cloudy. Today's question of the day is... What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? And today's quote of the day is, Love is never lost. If not reciprocated, it will flow back, soften, and purify the heart. Little Caesars trying to make me fat again. And it says that I'm live. That was my mistake. And I got a new subscriber. Thank you so much, Tony, for subscribing to my channel. It makes me so happy when people subscribe. I wanted to tell you guys that I'm really... Happy birthday to Fiona, Chris, and Matthew, and Bunny. Our little friend Bunny is one years old today. Super cute. Little bunny friend. Okay. I wanted to tell you guys that I did get a notification back from the people at Yafa about my winnings of the November uh, fountain pen giveaway from Conklin. And they sent out a notification that I should be getting another Conklin in the mail in a couple of weeks. And, um, and uh, the Sweet Life line. So I will get to review those as soon as I get them. So, yay. Really exciting stuff. Cannot wait. All right. Let's see what do we got here. Five is the question, the quote, the weather, Yahoo, the Gmail. Instagram, the birthday, the Facebook notifications, the YouTube comments, the bank, the EBT, and I am live. So that is where that will end. The blood pressure, okay, good. All right. Take a look at the Bujo, just really quick. Um, I'm supposed to be getting my nibs today, which is really exciting. 
I get to use some new um, flexible <clears throat> dip nibs, so that will be very exciting. I will get to review those later on today. And then we will look at those tomorrow. How's that? <clears throat> okay. What are we learning about today? So today we're going to look at monoline calligraphy, flex pen calligraphy, and broad edge calligraphy. That works perfect for today's um, pen because we're, this is a broad edge calligraphy pen. And there are many types of broad edged calligraphy pens out there. The Pilot Parallel is just one of them. There are uh, there are other whoops wrong book. There are other broad edged calligraphy pens out there. They also come in um, fountain pen form. Let's take a look see. For example. This is a broad edge calligraphy pen. It's a 1.5 millimeter stub. This is a Fugilong 902, and it came with a 2.9 millimeter broad nib. And then there are the other Pilot Parallels. This is a 2.4 millimeter um, parallel. And this is a 3.8 millimeter broad pen. So also there are um, pens out there that are called folded folded calligraphy pens they are basically basically how do i do this how do i make this okay so they are basically we're going to pretend for a moment that this is a piece of brass they take the brass and they fold it over like this. Okay, and then they put this bit in the, and they use the broad edge like this. And you will see some that are shaped like this and like this and like this. And you'll see some there's many different types of uh, broad edged calligraphy pens out there, or folded brass calligraphy pens out there. And they all have a different type of style of calligraphy, which is brilliant. You will also see some other pilot parallels that have been modified to be calligraphy, um, <clears throat> what they call folded calligraphy nibs. Now this one is broad because you can see here that when you write horizontally, the line is very thin, and when you write vertically the line is very thick so you get a very interesting type of calligraphy
And it's mainly used for doing block style calligraphy or some sort of um, block style, some sort of, um, not really sure what it's called off the top of my head. I'm drawing a blank for some reason, but at any rate, it's a broad, that is broad edged calligraphy. The other type of pen that you will come across is a flex pen, a flex nib. You'll get, you can get very thin lines, or if you go, if you push down, you can get a very broad line. <clears throat> and they come in all kinds of shape and sizes too. This just happens to be a Jane Davenport with a Fountain Pen Revolution Ultraflex nib on it. And this is a Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya with a number six size Ultraflex nib. This, this is a Fountain Pen Revolution Gold Flex nib in a Moonman T1. I also have what might be considered in the business a wet noodle. This is a Waterman 12 flex nib. Very flexible. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you will find <coughs> the Pilot Falcon. Very stiff. Along those same lines, you will find a pen by Noodlers. You will find, oh, where's my other pens? Oh, right here. You will find also the Nib Creeper, the Conrad, the Ahab. And I don't have one, but the triple tail and the Ponset. There are other pens out there that use a calligraphy nib or a spring steel calligraphy nib to use dip pen nibs instead of using the traditional fountain pen nibs. This pen takes a different type of nib. These nibs are spring steel. They're not meant to last very long, but they're meant to be used as dip pen nibs. Take a pen, take a nib, put it in the holder, dip the nib. This is dip pen nib. It's also a flex nib. Let's 
So that is a dip pen nib. And that I wanted to show you. This dip pen nib can go in this fountain pen and be used with a regular fountain pen ink or calligraphy fountain pen ink, which is usually not meant for fountain pens. We'll get over that in just a little while. We will go over that another day. <clears throat> so these are all types of fountain pens that use different types of nibs to uh, to to use ink with. The other type of calligraphy pen are called monoline calligraphy pens. <clears throat> Most of the people use most of the world has what I would call a monoline calligraphy pen. You can use just a regular fountain pen and You can use a ballpoint. You can use You can use a pencil. I wanted to talk a little bit more about other types of flex pens that I didn't go over that I'm just remembering. There's brush pen calligraphy. Brush pens are very flexible. There's also this type of sponge brush pen. Okay, more monoline calligraphy pens are glass dip pens. So that's another type of monoline calligraphy.
There's just a million different types of pens out there. There's a million different types of pens out there. There's a million different types of paper out there. A million and one different types of ink out there. Probably 32 million types of ink out there. I bet you there's a, a, an ink for every color of the rainbow. So that will be really exciting. To see what kind of pens that you guys come up with and what types of different types of calligraphy that you're looking into doing. Me, I like fountain pens. Fountain pens are my favorite. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite, but I do. I have a favorite type anyway. Not really great at the broad edge calligraphy. Not good at it at all. <laughs> um, but I do like the Flex fountain pens. I'm not so good at the brush calligraphy either. But it is very, very nice to know that you can get some crazy line variation with this. Crazy line variation. That's got to be at least six millimeters across. So, what type of calligraphy do you tend to use? Do you use a broad, broad edged calligraphy? Do you use a dip pen or perhaps? Um, a glass dip pen or do you use a fountain pen or even a pencil did I mention a pencil you could use a pencil probably the easiest for erasing that's for sure so let me know in the comments which is your favorite type of device to use for calligraphy did I forget anything? Monofline Flex Broad Edge. I think that covers it for now. All right, tomorrow we will be back to talk about the parts and features of pens. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, and I will be back tomorrow with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you, bye.